This is how much it will cost to buy every single LEGO game character. So hey, why don't we take a look at the most expensive character from, well, every single LEGO game. Cue the music. You can possibly defeat me alone. So, hello, hello, hello there, guys. I recommend activating your stud multipliers for this one as it's gonna get a tad bit crazy. Now, do or do not, there is no try and do not judge him by his size. Oof. Yeah, it's Ghost Yoda from LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, coming in as the most expensive character within this LEGO game. Costing a whopping total of 1.2 million studs, Ghost Yoda is pretty much identical to the regular Yoda. And yes, 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 he even has the same iconic death sound, though he is a ghost. Now, you may be sitting there pondering the question, is this character worth the amount? And in all honesty, he is 100%. Playing as this character, you can literally bypass all enemies as they just simply ignore you. This even goes to apply to bosses. The main standout feature in particularly for this character is that he is invincible. That is unless you fall off the map. For some reason, I cannot get over why he looks like he's about to smack someone around the head whenever he drives a car. Now, now, talking about fortune and glory, next up is LEGO Indiana Jones, the original adventures, and the most expensive character within this LEGO game is Han Solo. <laughs> Before you can even purchase Han Solo as a playable character, first off, you will need to locate all five Star Wars characters, hidden across, well, multiple levels. Then you can purchase Han Solo for a hundred thousand studs. And, well, yes, he is kinda just imported from the complete saga, however, they decided to remove the greatest LEGO move of all time, and that, my friends, is the triple burst shot. The amount of times I dived onto the floor to perform a triple burst shot is uncountable. Unbeknown to many people, there is actually an extremely creepy glitch with Han Solo. Depending on the angle your character is positioned at, his face will morph into this. Yeah, shall we head over to Gotham? Yeah, let's go to Gotham. In, well, Lego Batman the video game. Now, the most expensive character found in this LEGO game is Raj Al Ghul, costing a total of 500,000 studs. Oh, and not only this, you will need to collect all 300 mini kits. Then good old Raj Al Ghul is available to purchase. For all of your time and effort, you get a bloke who attacks people with two sticks wearing vibrant green pants. As you may be aware, Raj Al Ghul or Raj Al Ghul within the Batman comics is immortal due to the effects of the Lazarus Pit, but in LEGO Batman the video game, he is unfortunately not. Ah oh, well, it looks like the Lazarus Pit didn't work this time, but uh, better look next time. Being completely honest, I really love Raj Al Ghul in this game, but for all your time and effort, he is simply just a reskin of Nightwing who is literally unlocked after a few hours playing the game. Whereas, Raj Al Ghul takes around 30 hours to unlock. I have got to admit though, I do quite like the green pants. It is now time to jump into a fridge as next up is LEGO Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues. Also, I did forget to mention this earlier on in the video, a like would be mega appreciated if you have gone to enjoy this video because it did take quite a while to make. Thank you. The LEGO Indiana Jones games are well known for not being the greatest LEGO games in terms of character rosters as well, the main standout character is pretty much Indy. And a few minor others such as Mauler and the Bazooka Trooper, and in this case the interdimensional being who is our most expensive character, rolling in at 1.5 million studs. I tell ya, fortune and glory, fortune and glory. For me in particularly, this has to be one of the greatest looking characters across all LEGO games and his animations are incredibly well done. Through the likes of how he floats around illuminating the ground beneath him, they even went to give him tons of little animations for how he pushes levers and climbs ladders. The character in terms of abilities is pretty much useless, all he can really do is repel ants away. In short term, he is a glorified insect repellent. Yeah. And hey, 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 it looks like we're going to need a glorified insect repellent as next up we are following the spiders to Lego Harry Potter years one to four. <laughs> oh. 
Oh yeah, that right there is our most expensive character. Well, what's left of him? Lord Voldemort is one of the most challenging LEGO game characters to unlock as you first need to collect 200 gold bricks, then you have to play a bonus level, then you have to head over to Madame Malkin's robes to purchase him for 1 million studs. In a regard, he is very similar to all of the other dark wizards in the game, the only real difference is he has a different coloured wand. But hey, 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 the feeling when you finally unlock Lord Voldemort in this Lego game is legendary. And I mean, you've gotta love his little laugh. <laughs> At the end of the day, he is the main big bad of the entire Harry Potter franchise and no one likes an empty slot in the character roster, so you kinda need to get him. It is now time to head into the menus and turn on that minikit detector as next up is LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars and give us the Clone Wars theme. And in this case, our most expensive characters go to Darth Vader, Vader Battle Damage, Darth Maul, Vader's Apprentice, otherwise known as Starkiller, and Darth Sidious. Not only only do the characters cost 275,000 studs each, you first need to collect said amount of minikits on a certain level to get the characters. And this is the only LEGO game to actually feature this mechanic. Now surprisingly, Vader's Apprentice was added into the game. If you are unaware who this character is, he originates from the popular Star Wars game Force Unleashed. The character, yes, has the exact same fighting animations as Ahsoka, but he does have Force Lightning. Now, I guarantee, I guarantee we all can agree on one of the many great aspects about this game was the Force Lightning. It is still so satisfying even to this day. Then we have Vader Battle Damaged, who was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one too, and I really love this rendition of the Vader Battle Damaged aesthetic. Anyway, load up the cargo. It is now time to set sail over to LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. That's got to be the most expensive pirate I have ever seen. Oh yes, matey, that is Blackbeard, costing you a total of 500,000 doubloons. Oh, ho, ho, still, even to this day, Blackbeard remains as one of my all-time favourite LEGO game characters. With his ability to reverse a player's controls with his ancient magic, not only this, he can prevent numerous enemies from even attacking him. With, in a way, his own variation of the Force Lightning. And what it does, it channels red electricity through an onslaught of enemies, briefly stunning them. Also to point out, it does sound amazing, the little bzz, bzz, bzz. The character additionally has super strength, allowing him to pull the infamous orange handles, and he can hit targets, making him very versatile in free play. And Blackbeard isn't the only character to cost 500,000 studs in this game, as we have Davy Jones. <laughs> In comparison to Blackbeard, he isn't anywhere near as strong in terms of abilities, his only powerful move is his peg leg slam. However, who can ignore that tentacle masterpiece of a character model? Ooh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, do you hear dancing skeleton music? Because I do, next up is LEGO Harry Potter years 5 to 7. Now, instead of taking a wand to Hogwarts, why not take a lightsaber? In particularly from Owner Saber. They literally work like a real-life lightsaber, especially their Xenopixel soundboards and their SN Pixel soundboards. With fully customizable colours alongside tons of presets from your favourite Star Wars characters, I can't get over how incredible these sabers are. Oh, and not to forget, over the festive season, they are offering free Shipping. They have such an abundance of sabers to choose from within their gallery, from popular Star Wars characters' sabers even to the dark saber. And uh, if you do want a cheeky 20% off, use code RUG at the checkout and, well, you'll get 20% off. And if you do want to know a little bit more about Owner Saber, there is a link in the description to their website alongside their gallery of sabers. Anyway, it's time to get back to Hogwarts. Astonishingly, LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 to 7 is the most expensive LEGO game character roster across all LEGO games, costing a total of 66,425,000 studs in order to purchase all characters from Madame Malkin's robes. 
The sole reason behind this character roster costing so, so, so much is all down to one individual character, being Lord Voldemort. This character still holds the throne a decade later for being the most expensive LEGO game character to date, with him being priced at 25 million studs alone. To place this into perspective for you, not even all the characters in the Skywalker saga are worth that much. For his ludicrous price, this version of Voldemort doesn't even have all the spells available. As well, he is missing Expecto Patronum, even though he has this spell in the first game. Say goodbye to the good old hub worlds, as next up is LEGO Batman 2, the first open world LEGO game. In terms of the highest costing characters, this game includes a few, that being Mr. Freeze, Man Bat, Black Canary, General Zod and the Penguin. Unfortunately though, in this LEGO game you cannot play as the actual Penguin, he was one of the best characters in LEGO Batman 1, with his little revolver. Look at him. The sole reason why all of these characters are placed at 500,000 studs each is because they are very, very valuable in terms of free play. As well, Mr. Freeze is the only character outside of Robin who has the ability to freeze, Penguin is the only character to be able to blow up silver objects, and Black Canary on the other hand is a bit of a rip-off. As well, you have Man Bat for the same price who can shatter glass too and fly, whereas Black Canary <coughs> can't. These characters are heavily used in free play when you cannot access a specific Batman or Robin suit in order to solve a particular puzzle. Then there is General Zod, who is Superman, but bad. From the Batcave to the Mines of Moria, LEGO Lord of the Rings is up next. Oh boy, making the list for this one is Radagast the Brown, King of the Dead, Saruman and the Witch King. Now don't ask me which king it is, as I don't know. You get it? Which king? Which king is it? Now, unlike previous LEGO games, these characters do not offer any given abilities outside of those you already have from completing, well, the story. I mean, Saruman is nearly identical to Gandalf the White, except for having a grey beard and obviously his staff. In all honesty though, I wish he could fire out fireballs like he does in his boss battle, but unfortunately he can't. So the main highlight from the list for me has 100% gotta be the King of the Dead, purely down to his visual look. The Witch King 2 is on par with him. Then there is the Seventh Doctor, otherwise known as Radagast the Brown who yes is the same as all of the other wizards in terms of abilities and he has a kryptonite staff, Superman beware. And well I've been wanting to do this transition for ages, fly you fools, it is now time to take the eagles over to Lego City Undercover. The most expensive character for this game is, I'm sure you know it, Rex Fury who has a total of three outfits within the game, each costing one million studs. Now, Rex Fury is one of the only minor few characters in the game to be able to pull orange handles, making him a must-have character. And obviously not to forget, Rex Fury and Chase McCain are the main standout characters in this game. And excuse me, can I just point out that his prison cell is loaded? No wonder the man costs one million studs, he has a hot tub in there alongside a private Jim and a very suspicious painting of a cave woman. Now I know what you're probably thinking, it's the Flintstones, it's the Flintstones, it might be, it might be. Thinking about it, that could have actually made my 10 biggest unsolved LEGO game mysteries video, which I definitely recommend you check out after this. Some of them LEGO game mysteries were pretty deep. Surfing its way up next is LEGO Marvel Super Heroes with Silver Surfer. Now this character has the greatest LEGO game flying animation across all LEGO games, just simply surfing around New York City is such a vibe. His surfboard also sounds really satisfying, now outside of this, the character doesn't have all too many abilities and he does have the basic fighting animations, but the main highlight of Silver Surfer is, well, surfing around New York City. Time to ride the tide over to the next one, which is LEGO Movie, the video game. With the highest costing character being Lord Business at the same price as Silver Surfer. Oh my, this character for me is hilariously fun to play as, I mean all you simply do is run around firing glue at people. Not only this, you can equip these gigantic Lego legs which are uniquely tied to this character only. The 
sound effect when you boot someone with these gigantic Lego legs is pristine. Have a listen. And yes, 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 there is President Business who is the exact same price as Lord Business and he does nothing. To dungeons deep and caverns old, Lego Hobbit is coming far over the Misty Mountains with Barrow White as our most expensive character. I have got to be honest, I was thinking the exact same as you. Who exactly is this character? Well, I did a bit of research and he's just a minor antagonist in The Hobbit sort of. The character only costs you 100,000 studs and he wields a small dagger and well that's about going for him. Personally it would have made more sense to maybe see Azog as the most expensive as Azog does have an instant kill attribute. I mean Barrow White looks cool. And well going way beyond Middle Earth and Gotham is Lego Batman 3 with the entire character roster coming in at a total of 25,476,000 studs roughly the same price as Voldemort. And our highest costing character in this game is only a tenth of that amount at 2.5 million and that is Cyborg Superman. I mean, I guess he is literally the Man of Steel now. He has all the same abilities as Superman and he's kind of like a cross between the Terminator and Superman. In a way, I can see how they justified the price for this character, but I believe they should have gave it to Composite Superman. As well, it is a mix between Batman and Superman and you share both of their abilities in one character making him super super useful. Then again as Cyborg Superman you can fly around shouting I'll say the gunner. Time to get to the chopper and head over to Lego Jurassic World and give us the Jurassic Park theme. <laughs> Oh yeah, the most expensive character within LEGO Jurassic World is Mr. DNA coming in at 500,000 studs. Mr. DNA, in a regard, is the mascot of this game and he actually is one of the most useful characters having many attributes, such as tracking, agility and target hitting, plus many more. And across every single LEGO game, we have not had a character like Mr. DNA since in terms of visual aesthetics. He really does have a stand and out design, making him one of the most memorable, iconic LEGO game characters. And oh my, look who it is. Oh yeah, time to go find that treasure as we are going to need it. LEGO Dimensions is up next. With this LEGO game being the only exception on the list, we are going to be looking at which LEGO Dimensions character costs the most amount of money. Due to most of the packs not being easy to find, LEGO Sonic tops the chart for being the most expensive LEGO Dimensions level pack which includes Sonic as a playable character, and Sonic is one of the fastest LEGO game characters. And how can you forget the amazing transformation between Sonic and Super Sonic? Oh, oof. Now, 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 if you wanted to pick up this pack brand new, it will cost you around $150. I told you we'll need that treasure. Anyhow, back to New York it is with LEGO Avengers. You may argue this price is perfectly balanced, as all things should be, coming in at 2.5 million studs. Is the mad titan himself? Thanos. Now this rendition of Thanos is based upon his end credit scene in Age of Ultron, when he uh, you know, gets his gauntlet out of the washing machine. In terms of him being a big character, he is one of the only few to have the ability to build and melt golden objects. Though this may be my least favourite version of LEGO Thanos, with him appearing in all three LEGO Marvel games, however the other two are DLC. This being his comic version from LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1 and his well-known Infinity War version wielding the Infinity Gauntlet from LEGO Marvel 2. In this particular game, Thanos has a really strange fighting style. I do quite adore it, he kinda like backhand slaps everyone. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he is inevitable. Yeah. Yeah, to a galaxy far, far away, LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens arrives with the Rancor roaring its way into the list at 500,000 studs. And hey, funnily enough, this was the first time in a LEGO Star Wars game we ever saw the Rancor as a playable character. Bearing in mind, obviously, the character is not accessible in many areas purely due to the size of him. Comparing this Rancor to the Rancor in the Skywalker Saga, they both have 
completely different running animations. Also, to point out, the Rancor is actually the largest LEGO game character outside of characters who can transform themselves even larger, such as Fing Fang Foom and Anti Monitor, plus the playable dinosaurs in LEGO Jurassic World. Outside of the Rancor being an absolute blast to play as just terrorising Jakku, he doesn't really do much. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas as next up is LEGO Worlds. Ebenezer Scrooge is going to be a massive fan of this character roster, with it only costing a total of 1,500,000 studs to purchase all the characters. Out of the wide selection of LEGO characters such as Master Wu from Ninjago, Nexo, Knights, all of the monster fighters, the most expensive character is a carol singer at 20,000 studs. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Yes, if you're wondering, they do sing. Here, have a listen. In some sort of way, the carol singers are actually some of the best characters as you can literally stop all the enemies around you and break them into a dance. And would you look at this guy here, calm down mate, it's just a carol, it's not disco music. Also, have a merry merry Christmas and a happy new year, depending on when you're watching this. It is now time to jump up, kick back, whip around and spin, Lego Ninjago movie the video game is up next. Now strangely, in this Lego game you actually don't even purchase any characters, you are required to find their character tokens which automatically unlock the character. So then, in terms of the most expensive character, I'm going to give it to the Golden Ninja, who is an exception as you need to find all 220 gold bricks. In a way, it kind of depends on the lighting. Sometimes he looks gold and then sometimes he doesn't. The character also has two katanas and fights very similar to all the other ninjas. However, 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 in my eyes though, the hot dog guy deserves it. Look at him. Looks like we have all locked and loaded and put emphasis on being loaded because LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 has an abundance of expensive characters. From Fing Fang Foom to Frog, Spider Ham, Cap Wolf, Hit Monkey, A Cow, Stan Lee, all of these cost 500,000 studs each. Then there is many, many, many more. Looking over all of these characters, Stan Lee easily has to be the most expensive character due to needing to collect all Stan Lee imperils in order to have access to purchase him. As I am sure you are very well aware, Stan Lee pretty much has every single ability in this game and he is one of the most famous LEGO game characters and he's also one of the greatest. He has a gigantic mashup of characters' abilities such as Spider-Man's web slinging, Captain America's shield, Miss Marvel's stretchy arms, Star-Lord's gravity grenades. In a way, he should be a lot more. For example, <clears throat> 25 million studs. I am looking at you, Voldemort. I am looking at you. Tch, don't even have all the spells. Now, 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 give us the Incredibles theme as next up is LEGO Incredibles and this game features a sort of LEGO character black blind bag system? With a regular blind bag, a silver blind bag and a gold blind bag. So in terms of being the most expensive character, it will simply have to go to all of the characters unlocked via the golden blind bags, costing 250,000 studs each. As all of the other characters in LEGO Incredibles are either the Pixar characters located in the open world alongside all the other strange superheroes. I mean, let's be real here, the real spotlight here has to be the Pixar characters, especially the lamp. Just jumping on enemies' heads going ba -da -ba -da -ba -da boom. Not to forget, obviously, Woody from Toy Story, Lightning McQueen, Ratatouille, Wally, -E, and it looks like we will be seeing these sometime again in the near future. Now it's time to change the teams as we ain't no heroes anymore. Lego DC Supervillains is here with a wide variety of expensive characters. From Darkseid to Chang Zhu, the Ventriloquist, Gentleman Ghost, and a Green Lantern Squirrel. From from the likes of the Ventriloquist with his puppet Scarface who is one of the greatest LEGO game characters without a doubt. 
out. The way his puppet drags him when he plays the piano, I can't get over how many animations this character has, such as his mini walk with the puppet. Gentleman Ghost is a surprising one to see, oh dear. Now, 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 the character includes a teleport ability alongside the capability to fly, and I cannot stress enough how unique each character is within this LEGO game. There is even a squirrel with a green lantern ring, otherwise known as Badge, who can run around on an acorn and fly. Then there is a um, <clears throat> Chang Zhu, who is our strangest character in this game, and I did talk about him in full detail in my strangest character from every single LEGO game video. There is a card up there if you want to check it out later. Darkseid is also on the list, who comes with his Omega Beams alongside his Meteor Slam ability, and I'm surprised he is not the same price as Thanos in LEGO Avengers. In my eyes, this is a little bit of a steal, but then again, we are supervillains. <laughs> Everything is awesome, and well, yes, it definitely is awesome, with LEGO Movie 2 up next, as this LEGO game is, again, drastically different to all the others. As there isn't a so-called most expensive character, so I'm going to place all the golden variants of the main characters here on the list instead. To have access to all of these characters, you pretty much need 100%, and they just simply work as cosmetics like all the other characters unfortunately in LEGO Movie 2. I mean, Superman cannot even fly. With this being the case, hit the hyperdrive. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is here with the most expensive characters being the Wampa, Jabba and Mama the Hutt, Babu, Frick and the Rancor. Hello again. With the Skywalker Saga's total character roster costing 25 million studs, no character exceeds over 500,000 studs. Notice how all of the characters fall under the extra class, and the Rancor is a beast as discussed earlier on, and Babu Frick is just too adorable. Hey hey! <laughs> I mean, you've got to love Babu. This goes to apply to Jabba the Hutt and Mama the Hutt, and all of these characters are so stupidly fun to play as. And just before the end, please let me know which of the most expensive characters is your favourite. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and if you did go to enjoy, a like would be mega appreciated, and a subscribe too, and also, have a merry, merry Christmas from me, and I'll see you all next year. Adios.